Hi everyone, it's Elsa. Welcome or welcome back. I just wanted to talk a little bit about what I'm reading right now and what I finished recently. Just yesterday, I finished Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. It took me about three weeks to read. Not because it was like extremely boring, although I mean it was a little bit slow because it's a classic and classic books do kind of tend to be slower. I did like enjoy picking it up every time I read it. I guess you could say there wasn't a ton going for plot and also every chapter could have been focused on a different one of the four daughters so you never really knew what exactly you were going to get every time you picked it up. I feel like that was one reason that I didn't pick it up as much. But overall, the book, I've seen the movie before, like the new one. I'm sure there are older ones too, but the one that has like Swersha Ronan in it and Timothy Chalamet and Florence Pugh and Emma Watson. I love Emma Watson, by the way. But yeah, I had seen that movie before I read the book and the movie has like very nice, cozy, kind of vibes so I was expecting that when I read the book and I think it definitely did have those cozy vibes like that was the thing I enjoyed most about it was that it was just like the feeling of reading it was very nice and it was super just comforting to read it it was so like you know it was just about their little family going on you know I didn't realize that it was split into two parts. A lot of older classics actually are, but it was it was like very just comforting to read, you know? And I love some of their silly little things that they say. In a ton of old books, they say silly goose or silly or goose all the time. And that's like one of my favorite things to say, has been for like a year or two now, is silly goose or silly just as a descriptive word for anything, I like to say silly. So yeah, I thought Little Women was pretty enjoyable. I think I gave it a four star rating on Goodreads. I probably would have given it three and a half realistically, but I did enjoy reading it. So that was my L. I'm still working on the alphabet. If you guys don't know, I'm reading a book for each letter of the alphabet right now. And my M is Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf. As you can see, I've already started annotating it a little bit, and I'm only 50 pages in. But there's just so many, like there's so many quotes in here that I read and I'm just like, wow, that is so true. Even if I personally can't necessarily relate to it, like there's just so much good stuff. I'm going to try to find one how much she wanted it, that people should look pleased as she came in. Like, that's just, like, yeah. I, I do want people to look pleased when I come in. Here's another good one that I like. For she was a child, throwing bread to the ducks between her parents, and at the same time, a grown woman, coming to her parents who stood by the lake, holding her life in her arms, which, as she neared them, grew larger and larger in her arms, until it became a whole life, a complete life, which she put down by them and said, this is what I have made of it, this. And what had she made of it? What indeed? Oh. Like, that's so good, are you kidding? Like, it's so, I feel like it just speaks to the experience. And I'm not even the character, the main character in this book, Mrs. Dalloway, obviously. I believe it has said she's 52. So obviously I'm not even near the age of 52, but it's still so like, like I can still relate to so much of the stuff that she says, you know? These are the little tabs I have for this one, by the way. I think I just got them off of Amazon. I've only been using the like top two colors, the yellow and like the lilac -y pink color to go with the cover of the book. Um, this one is, I suppose it's 
more recently written than Little Women, but it's very... Is it? I don't even know, actually. I don't know. It's harder to read, for sure. Like, it's clearly written for adults, whereas Little Women was written for maybe, like, young adults or um, teenagers. So it's a little bit harder for me to, like, convince myself to pick it up, but it is only 200 pages. And I'm 50 pages in already. Another thing that's really lovely about this book is that, like, someone else I got this book secondhand and someone else has already like underlined a bunch of things and written little tiny notes in this really pretty cursive handwriting that I can hardly even read in the margins which I love I love secondhand books especially when someone else has already written in them because I feel like that is just so like to see someone else's thoughts as they engage with the book is just so cool to me so anyways, I'm hoping to finish this this weekend. It's Friday right now. And hopefully I will update you guys if I do. And I'll let you know what I'm reading next after this. My next book I'm really excited for, actually. Really, really excited. I think I'm just gonna sit down and read this for a while. I've been watching altogether too much YouTube in the past week. It doesn't help that I have off from work for a week and a half right now. So I have like all this weird extra time during the week. And I don't have any exams next week, so I don't have much studying to do. So I'm like, I have an awkwardly large amount of time. And it's not even going to be super warm over the weekend. If it was going to be like 60 or 70, I would 100% like go for a run each day and like go skateboarding in the afternoons, which I might still go skateboarding because I haven't for a while and I want to practice. Um, what was I just gonna say? Yeah, I probably will still go skateboarding if it's like 50 or 55, because that's still like nice enough, you know? So yeah, I'm gonna read some of this book. Hi everyone, don't mind my band-aid. I have a really bad habit of picking at my face. And I need to stop, so that's why it's there, so I don't bother it. But I want to talk about, like, the conversation around mental health in this book, which I think is very interesting because it was written so long ago. But there's this one, like, side character, because, I mean, obviously, Mrs. Dalloway is the main focus of the book. She's the title character. Is there a word for that, like, tit titular character? But anyways. And then you have these random, this random guy named Septimus and his wife, Rezia, Rezia. And they just kind of, like, show up in the park. But you hear for, like, pages their struggle with, like, Septimus's mental health, which essentially is described as, like, he fought in the war which is world war one at this point and one of his good friends was killed in the war and he says he couldn't feel anything and now he's like very concerned because he just says he can't feel anything and he can't taste anything and he now will like talk to himself all the time and he thinks that he hears voices from you know his old friend from the war and like other voices as well and his wife Rezia brings you know a doctor to see him multiple times and the doctor's like nothing's wrong because you know mental health in 1920 like doesn't there's not really a conversation around that and then eventually he sees this other doctor and this other doctor is like talking to the wife is like he just needs to go away and stay in bed for like six months which is not a good solution either whatever but i find it so interesting that it's talked about in general like i'm and also just like the 
the way that it's spoken about seems so modern. I don't know, I think Virginia Woolf, her writing is so, like it is still relevant today, which obviously is what makes her such a good author, you know? I'm now 100 pages into this book. There's no chapters in it, which is getting me a little bit like, it's hard for me to keep reading. Every once in a while there's a break in the text, but like this section that I'm in right now is like 80 pages long without a break. So I think I'm gonna put it down for tonight, but I mean, I'll probably finish it tomorrow since I will only have 90 pages to go, which I read like 80 pages today, so I will keep letting you know how it goes, but now I'm just gonna chill. I'm so tired. Reading this was making me like a little bit drowsy, which normally isn't really a good sign, but I think I'm just tired anyway, so. not feeling great right now but I think it's because number one I get car sick super easily and I guess I should say however I try to ride the shuttle bus as often as possible instead of taking the subway because it saves money so I just took the shuttle bus back and traffic was really bad and I don't feel that great <laughs> But also, I think it is because I've been eating a lot of salty food in the past couple of days and not drinking a ton of water. So right now I'm going to eat a fruit bar and chug a bunch of water while I update you guys on my reading progress. Okay, so... Um, I only have about 25 pages left of Mrs. Dalloway. I haven't been annotating as much recently, I think because at the beginning of the novel, it was more from, it was like in the mind of Mrs. Dalloway. And also Septimus, who is the character that I think I already talked about, and both of them were a lot more interesting to me. But recently it's been more from like, not a point of view change it's kind of just like third person what is that word um omnipotent maybe so recently it's been kind of showing the thoughts of like the guy who mrs dalloway used to be in love with and mrs dalloway's husband and septimus's wife and like mrs dalloway's daughter like all these random characters but now i'm to the point where it's actually I've just now gotten to the start of like the party which kind of if you read like the synopsis of this book it says that it's basically Mrs. Dalloway preparing for a party that she's having that night although 
The book is not as much from Mrs. Dalloway's point of view as I would expect from the description, but I've just now gotten to the party, so I don't know. We'll see if anything exciting happens, I guess, at a party thrown by a 52-year-old woman. Anyways, and then also I was just in Manhattan um, and I had like kind of an awkward amount of time between when I ate lunch and when the shuttle was going to come. So I went to a used bookstore nearby and looked around for a really long time. Um, but I got a copy of All the Light We Cannot See, which you can see won the Pulitzer Prize. And I've heard a lot of people say that this book is really good. So, this one I probably won't read for a while because it's not going to fit in my alphabet. So it probably won't be until like September or something that I end up reading it. But I'm, I'm just glad that I found like a second copy of it. I'm probably going to finish this right now. I already did a little bit of exercise for today. I'm thinking about going outside to skateboard, but it's just like a little bit chillier than I would prefer it to be. And also, the shuttle ride just took away my excitement to do anything, so. I have a little bit more homework I could do, otherwise uh, I have a pretty free evening. I've just finished Mrs. Dalloway. It was very much... I mean, definitely, like, literary fiction. I feel like, even though it was written in, what, like, 1920, published in 1923, there was still a lot of stuff that was, like, very relatable. But I think it was mostly, if you want, like, a general what to expect, it was mostly commentary about, like, the little things in life that are like good or bad and kind of also like getting old and like looking back at kind of like what you have done or like kind of like regrets or kind of stuff like that. I'm trying to think of what I would rate it and it's it's like difficult because it was first of all very short and also just there wasn't like a ton of plot you know it was mostly like commentary like philosophical type stuff i suppose i'll probably give it four stars i almost feel like maybe i should read it again when i'm older because it is a lot about like you know, being older and looking back at when you were like a teenager and how things change. Three and a half. Again, I would I would probably get this book. Um, so that was my M in my alphabet. Next book I'm super excited to read. I have Normal People by Sally Rooney. I have never read a Sally Rooney book before. I'm actually really excited to read this. It is less than 300 pages, so it's due at the library on Tuesday and it's Saturday right now. So hopefully I can like finish it by then, which I think I probably can. I have a lot of time this weekend. Sally Rooney is Irish. I wasn't aware. Okay, so anyways, I'm really excited to read this. I'm going to start it tonight. Um, and when I get like a ways in, I will update you guys on how it's going. Hello everyone. It's a little bit late, um, but quick update on normal people. I'm like 70 pages in and I like it so far. The writing style is definitely different. Yeah, and I'm, I'm invested in, like, the story and the characters right now. I think it's probably going to go pretty fast for me, because I'm enjoying it quite a lot so far.
everyone, um, I just got back from a picnic for a friend's birthday outside, and it's really nice outside, and that was fun. So, yeah, but, um, quick reading update on normal people. I am 111 pages in now, and I really like, I still like how it's written. I feel like the characters are very relatable. Like, I find myself relating to both of them in different ways, which is fun. And the time skips are very interesting to me, and I'm interested, like, how far into their lives it will go. Because now it's been, I don't know. It, well, it's been like, it's been like a year and a half now into their, like, from when the story started. So I'm interested to see how far it will go. Yeah. I'm into it so far. Probably just update you guys when I finish it. Honestly, I feel like it's gonna be soon. just finished Normal People by Sally Rooney. I did like it a lot. I feel like there was really no plot, I feel like. But other than that, I really liked the characters and like just the way it was written was very interesting to me. So I think I would give it like four and a half stars. It was pretty good. Mrs. Dalloway and Normal People both were very much, I feel like, kind of about like all of the small things that happen in your life. Kind of just the fact that sometimes the small things mean a lot more than you realize or like you think about them a lot more. I don't know. I feel like in a way they were very similar books or had very similar themes. The next book I'm planning on reading for my O is 100 years of solitude i believe but it hasn't come in at the library yet so i actually don't have a book to read right now um hopefully it will be here like be into the library tomorrow i think that is reasonable because i requested it like yesterday i don't know how fast the library system works but i think it's pretty fast so hopefully that will be in soon and I can also enjoy that book. Hopefully it's good. Hi everyone, um, a quick reading update for this morning. I think I, yeah, I vlogged when I finished Normal People. That was probably like four days ago maybe. Um, and since then I've been reading Queenie by Candace Cardi Williams. It's, I've never really heard of it before. And it's my cue in my alphabet reading, even though I haven't read O and P yet because they came into the library later, so I couldn't start them and I needed something to read, so I started this one. But it's about um, like a Jamaican British woman living in London and she has had this boyfriend for like several years and they've recently broken up and she's trying to deal with that and like also like a ton of racism and like microaggressions yeah I don't know it's like fine I guess 
I don't really have much to say about it. I do feel like it's a little bit like probably the target audience is women who are like older than me. I mean, I'm 18 and I feel like the character in this book is, I want to say like at least, I mean out of like university, so at least like 24 or 25 I want to say. So probably I'm not really in the target age range for this, but you know, it's pretty good so far. So let's see, I'm 80 pages in out of around... 325 it looks like so I don't know maybe I'll finish this over the weekend probably not um but yeah I'm also working on a friendship bracelet right now um I finished another here's my other one I finished this one recently this is like so pink <laughs> I would never wear it myself but um I'm making them for the Taylor Swift concert because I've heard that people like exchange friendship bracelets at Taylor Swift concerts so and I used to be like an avid friendship bracelet maker I'd make tons of them so I'm making some of those so I can maybe exchange some friendship bracelets with people studying for an exam that I have on Tuesday in my computer science in my programming class my desk is like a mess right now Anyways, I really have no idea what I'm going to do today. I'm on, um, I'm joining like a study session Zoom thing for my computer science class soon. In like 20 minutes I'll be on there to like get the answers for this um, practice exam that I've taken and just kind of like talk about the topics a little bit. Uh, yeah. again. I just made some hot chocolate. It's really hot right now so I can't drink it yet. Um, I already have my pajamas on even though it's only like seven but it's like supposed to storm right now or soon. It's like getting really you know kind of weird outside and it's like dark already even though you know it would be light out given like the time of year right now and I have been reading Queenie but because of the weather I kind of really feel like reading some like fantasy or like you know something like that like I feel like if I was in the mood to reread Harry Potter right now like that's what I would be doing so I think because also it's my O book which is technically the next one I'm supposed to be reading anyway. I'm going to start 100 Years of Solitude. It says on the back, it's about the rise and fall of the mythical town of Macondo through the history of the Buendia family. Honestly, just that description reminds me a lot of Encanto, the movie. On the spine, it says that it's a YA book, I think. It says YA fiction. Um, so I'm assuming it'll be, like, pretty easy to read. I really hope it starts, like, raining and, like, thundering, because that would be so nice. I love thunderstorms. Um, but yeah, I'm probably just gonna drink my hot chocolate and read for a while. I have... This is my friendship bracelet that I've been working on, and I actually just started this one today. I think I already showed it actually, but I've gone like decently far on it, so. 
I think tomorrow I'm gonna have to go grocery shopping and like actually get some work and studying done. So sad, so sad. <laughs> Today I've just gotten like literally nothing done. I've just been chilling all day. I'm gonna start this one because also because of the weather, I'm just really in the mood to read in general. And if I don't like the beginning of this one, I'll probably just go back to Queenie. But I feel like this is my type of book. I'm looking forward to reading it. So I'm just gonna get started. got back from Target to do some grocery shopping. While I unpack my groceries, I'm going to give you guys some of my thoughts on this book so far, 100 Years of Solitude. I'm only 36 pages in. It's been, it's been good. Um, definitely, it says YA on the side. I thought it was maybe a YA book, but it's not really reading like YA, which is fine. I don't know. It's very much, it's more like long story form-ish right now, as in like, I don't know. There's like, it's like there's not a lot of dialogue, you know? It's like telling the story of this town and this family as if it happened like a very long time ago which I think obviously it did in the case of this book. It's like interesting. Like there's a few little magic-y things happening, but then like not a lot of magic altogether. And it's, it kind of has that factor of like ridiculousness, you know? Like some things happen and the characters are just like, like what and the other character like someone will figure something out and it's like we've been trying to do this forever and the other characters will be like just like totally baffled i don't know this is my granola bar box apparently i'm gonna shove it in my snack drawer okay that actually fit very nicely yesterday Sorry. Yesterday I did basically nothing at all. Like literally left my dorm room like two times and it was for lunch and dinner. <laughs> so I think I really feel like I should go to the gym or go outside and get some exercise <laughs> right now. Even though I'm really just not. What I really wanna do is do yoga outside but I don't have like YouTube Pro or Plus or whatever it is. So I can't download like a yoga video to do outside. And I don't want to like spend, like use so much data streaming something out where I don't have Wi-Fi. 
and I don't know enough yoga to just like know it. Quite a conundrum. I don't know, but I need to do something, so I think I'm gonna go for a run and then come back and eat. I think some of my hummus for lunch. I love hummus, but I don't have it a lot because I try not to spend money on like extra snacks too much when I have the dining hall and like my meal plan and stuff. I go grocery shopping like once a month-ish. So that's like my snacks for the rest of, probably the rest of the semester. I'm literally in one month exactly, I will be driving home with my dad from when I'm filming this. So that's crazy. Also the light right now, my skin looks really good. Anyways, okay. I'm going to go get some exercise now because you can't just read all the time. <laughs> to give you guys a quick update and I think I'm gonna end my current reading vlog here so I haven't actually read anything more of Queenie or 100 years of solitude since I've updated last but that's still what I'm reading um, I just wanted to show you guys quick I got this notebook it's so cute at a um, little stationery shop type thing like months ago here probably in like October I think I actually might have vlogged about it in one of my like very early videos um but it's been like sitting on my shelf unused and I decided um because I've seen so many people doing it mostly Katie is reading I've been watching a lot of her YouTube recently um and I really enjoy it but I also used to keep a reading journal, but I kind of like didn't use it that much and then I left it at home when I came to college like months and months ago. So I decided to start a little reading journal. I did not do anything fancy in here, so don't expect anything cute. I'm just going to show you the two pages that I made really quick. Um, this is a page that I did in my other one. It's just a book bracket, so I have like a little line for each month. And I put my favorite book that I read each month. Um, so right now I only have three months because it's April, which is so weird. It feels like it's still like fall of last year to me. Um, but my January pick was Catcher in the Rye. My February pick was Catch 22. And my March pick was It's Kind of a Funny Story for my bracket. I have an honorable mention section at the bottom too. Um, and the only book I have in there right now is F Furia, which I also read in March. Or maybe February. I think it was February, yeah. But Catch-22 was just like kind of mind-boggling, so I had to put it on here. So that's my quick little book bracket. And then I also made this quick little spread for my alphabet books, because I am doing an alphabet reading challenge. So I just have all of them written on here and then I've highlighted the ones that have like four and a half or five stars it's kind of a funny story in normal people I both gave four and a half stars I don't think I have any five star reads yet this year except maybe I gave Catcher in the Rye five stars which I read that was the first book I finished this year before I started the alphabet yeah that's all I put in there but this little notebook is just so cute I have a lot of like washi tapes and things like that that I don't really use that much so I'd like to get into using some of that stuff more but I don't really have any like stickers or scrapbook paper or anything here and I do have that at home so maybe over the summer 
which I will be home in like a month, guys. Crazy. I think I already said that actually. <laughs> yeah, maybe over the summer I will update this more and make like cuter little spreads in it. Um, but this is it for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog. It was about a week long. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed listening to me talk, check out some of my other videos. I have other vlogs, I have other book videos, book hauls. I will just see you guys in another video. Bye.